I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. It is a stunning twist in this highly contentious divorce. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff live in the newsroom with what lawyers for Jackson want from McCarthy. Dana. In a nutshell, Eric and Rob, they want information in black and white, in my pictures and even video of a link between McCarthy and former Chicago Alderman Sandy Jackson. For a quarter of a century, Sandy and Jesse Jackson Jr. stood united in public, but their 26-year-old marriage now continues to publicly crumble after years of strife. There may have been times when I was overcome with exhaustion. The latest focus in their divorce proceedings, former Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy. A subpoena filed by the former congressman's attorney today wants McCarthy to turn over a wealth of information pertaining to a relationship or connection to former Alderman Sandy Jackson, dating back to 2012. It demands McCarthy turn over records of any cash, checks, or property given to Ms. Jackson, including attorney's fees, groceries, rent, or clothing. The subpoena also wants McCarthy to produce documents detailing what he received from her. Groceries, liquor, dining out, and travel, just some of the things named. Jesse Jackson's attorneys are also seeking social media correspondence, photos, videos, emails, and texts between McCarthy and Ms. Jackson. He's so desperate, Sandy Jackson tells CBS2 tonight. McCarthy says bluntly, I'm not going to comment on anything that stupid. Two other men, former Chicago police sergeant and businessman Richard Simon and current cop James Love, also received subpoenas. Last month, Jesse Jackson Jr.'s attorney said acts by his wife led to the divorce filing, and he didn't elaborate. Robin Erica. Okay, Dana, thank you.